it was absolutely disgusting, uninhabitable. Bugs, cigarette smell, and a dirty apartment. That's what one local college student and her mom say they walked into on move-in day last week. And now they're looking for a new place to live. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And new at 11 o'clock, our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is joining us now live in studio. And Laura went directly to the property management to find out the situation, Lauren. Yeah, Kimberly, and this student has already had a new lead on a new place to live. And for now, she's staying with a family friend. But she tells me that finding an apartment right now has not been easy. It was a mother-daughter trip to move Kaylee Hertzberger into her first apartment in college, move-in day at Boulevard 63. It was supposed to be a really fun, exciting time um, that turned bad very quickly. The mother and daughter say they got their keys to their place and say this is what they saw when they opened the door. There were stains all over carpets. Some of the carpets were black looked like somebody burnt them. Grease all over the kitchen, stuff left over in the cabinets from prior tenants, flies underneath beds. Kaylee's mom, Jenny, says she knew she couldn't let her daughter live there and immediately asked to break their lease and start looking for another place to live in an already tight housing rental market. We don't have time to go find another living situation when it's already hard enough. And when you think you've had something secured. ABC 10 News reached out to Boulevard 63 and in a statement, a spokesperson explained that the deep cleaning of the apartment had been deferred pending the installation of new carpet. And when the carpet work was delayed by supply chain issues, the cleaners had less time to complete their work on schedule, adding that they responded immediately and allowed them to be released from their lease. They also shared these pictures, they say, of the finished and clean apartment. But for now, Kaylee still doesn't have a place to live. We're still out a lot of money, even though we're getting refunded and um, we're out of the lease, which I am so grateful for. Now, Kaylee's mom tells me that she'll now have to fly back to help her daughter move in once she does find a place. So, Kimberly, they are still looking for a place tonight. And Laura, how long will it take for them to get their money back? Well, both the property managers and the mom tell me that they do have 21 days to get their deposit back. But the company spokesperson tells me that they should get their check sometime this week. Kim? All right. Now, disappointing for them. So, so true. Thank you, Laura.